Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today's February the 29th. It is Leap Day, and we're going to be looking in Psalm 29 together this morning. Psalm 29 is a special psalm. In fact, it's a psalm that's still used today during the celebration of the Passover of the Jews. This was a psalm that compared the God of Israel and shows the power of the true God versus Israel's neighboring country who worshiped Baal, a false god. And we're talking about him on Sunday mornings right now as we're going through the story in the life of Elijah. So we've got in here this chapter talking about how God is powerful and he's in control of the weather, the storms, the floods, all of those things in comparison to Baal. Baal was the storm god. He was in charge, supposedly. He was the god of the rains and the harvest and the crops and things like that. But what this psalm does is tells us that Baal is not powerful at all, and it's actually God who is in control of everything. As you read through this chapter, it starts off with the word strength and ends with the word strength. Verse 1 says, Honor the Lord, you heavenly beings. Honor the Lord for his glory and strength. The last verse in his chapter, verse 11, says the Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. So this chapter starts off with strength and ends with strength, proving that the one who has all strength is God. We also find the word glory mentioned in here multiple times, that God is the one that we are to give glory and that God is the one who is glorious. Then we find the voice of the Lord in here. The voice of the Lord, verse 3 Echoes above the sea, the God of the glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. Verse 4, the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Verse 5, the voice of the Lord splits the mighty cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord, verse 7, the voice of the Lord strikes with bolts of lightning. Verse 8, the voice of the Lord makes the barren wilderness quake. Verse 9, the voice of the Lord twists the mighty oaks and strips the forest bare. This is talking about the voice of God, and they're comparing it to thunder and in this storm because God is the one who's in control of the weather. He's in control of the storms. So they're likening the storms to God and his voice, proving that God is the true God, Jehovah, not Baal. Baal has no power. When they're talking about on these mountains and Mount Hermon in verse 6, that's where these other countries believed that their gods dwelt up on this mountain. And they're, they're, they're represented by many of the trees and things like that. So when God's voice thunders and splits the mighty cedars and the oaks and all of these things, it's a jab at these countries saying, your God has no power. Jehovah is all powerful. This is the glory of God versus the false power of Baal. And then even down in verse 10, the Lord rules over the flood waters, even throwing it back to Noah all the way back to there saying, you know what? Baal was not in control then. It's only God. And that should give us confidence and assurance that if God was all powerful then and God took care of his people then, that God's going to do the same thing today. He is still the all powerful God whose voice can shake the earth. And when he speaks to us, he can shake us. But today, I want you to be encouraged because God is powerful. God has everything under control. He's in control of the weather. He's in control of everything. And he's more powerful than anything else, any other little G God, any problem that I'll face, anything like that. God is in control. God is all powerful. And you and I have access to that God. He is our Father. That ought to encourage us that the one true God is the God who knows my name, is the God who created me, the God who loves me, and the God that I'm going to get to spend eternity with. I hope that encourages you today. Get in God's word, read it, study it, learn more about him, draw closer to him, and until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.